It's one thing to think theoretically about what it is to be correct. I mean, the ideal in that sense is that if you're all alone, correctness is something that is actually very, very simple. Your strategy and authority, everything else is the hum and frequency of vibration of what it is to be you. And there's no way in which you are distracted from the essence of what you are. However, we do not live alone. We don't. And in order to live in this world, we have to accept the fact that we're living in a world that's deeply homogenized, that's locked into specific patterns, cultures, moralities, the way things are done. Everything about the nature of human design is that it's there to empower uniqueness, to give the potential of each being that right to be able to express who and what they are. Yet the way to do that is a way that cannot, cannot avoid the confrontation, cannot avoid the reality of the world that we live in. And it leaves it all in your hands. I mean, theoretically, theoretically, it's very easy to be correct. But the moment that you step into this world is the moment that you have to deal with the consequences of your own potential and your own authority. It may negatively influence beings around you. It may change the circumstances of the way in which you deal with others and operate in this life. But unless, unless you're committed to your strategy and authority, to correctness in everything in your life, you don't get the rewards. You only get the homogenized world.